Greetings, greetings. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. It is story time with Miss O, and we are here to talk. Okay, so today we have the talk by Alicia D. Williams and illustrated by Brianna Uchindu. So I think that this is a great compliment to our previous story. If you haven't uh, had a moment to look at it, please first subscribe and then watch uh, An American Story by Kwame Alexander or read, check out from your local library, purchase from your local uh, bookstore, online if you choose to. Local is always best. Um, but art by their culture, then An American Story. An American story shares our past. Uh, the talk shares our present and, and it allows us to be knowledgeable, understanding, and prepared uh, for, for an American story, you know, and in various ways, uh, parents, guardians, please, you know, do your best to, to share um, or elaborate on it. Um, I don't want to do so. Every person, every guardian uh, shares with their child at their own will. But I will like to say I, I do strongly believe that both of them are complementary uh, to, to an American experience for an African in America or African American, a black, which a uh, black uh, family, person, child, however you... Um, label or however you identify uh, with yourself here in America. So with that being said, without further ado, this is story time with Miss O and we are reading the talk. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe and let's go. Hi, I'm Jay. These are my friends, Jamal, Ebony, and Brian. Most Saturdays, we race down our block and back like track stars. See, my high tops, they help me run super duper fast. We lost track of who wins the most, but I think I'm the fastest. This is my grandpa. He cheers us on. When we stop to rest, he tells us stories about Olympic heroes like John Carlos, Wilma Ru Rudolph, and Jesse Owens. See this wall? Here, mom measures my height. She makes one teensy tiny mark. Jeez, not even an inch. I'm never going to grow. Look at my cheeks. Nana says they're chubby. She squeezes them every chance she gets. I whine and groan that I don't like it. But, shh, really I do. Want to see my wallet? It's got my favorite superhero on it. See? It's... I'm strong like him, too. When I grow up, I'm going to have huge muscles. I saved a whole $5, too. I earned it doing chores. Mom says I'm a good bed maker-upper. And when Mom takes me to the store, I buy whatever I want. Oh, this is our car. Daddy lets me sit behind the wheel. He says, one day, this will be yours. I pretend to drive. Woo! I can't wait. I ask mom to measure me at the wall again. And she says, boy, you've grown. And I say, but, but my feet still don't reach the gas pedal. You like my jacket? It has a wolf on the back. See? The hood is soft, too. It blocks the wind from howling in my ears. 
Now look at our wall, two whole inches. I say, no one can call me shrimp anymore. Mom looks sad. She says, they won't see you as my young boy anymore either. I tell her, I'll always be her little man. Remember my friends? Brian says, we're friends for life. Jamal says, yeah, forever like infinity. Ebony says, we're tighter than the lid on a pickle jar. We are. We skateboard up the street and back. Then we debate whose flips are the best. There's a story, there's my storytelling grandpa watching us laugh and goof around like usual. But today, instead of telling us a story, grandpa does something strange. He warns us not to crowd in groups of four or more. Grandpa says, I believe y'all could be the next Thurgood Marshall, Elijah McCoy, and Bessie Coleman. But some folks might think you're the next troublemaker. We don't understand. We're only hanging out. But Grandpa says, that doesn't matter. See my face? Nana says the chub in my cheeks is flattened out. Nothing to squeeze. I say, I'm still cute. She says, baby, I wish everybody would see you as the cutie you are. Nana plants a kiss on my forehead. I sigh and moan and act as if I'm too old for that. Shh, I'm not too old. Guess what? Dad got me a new wallet. He says it's because I'm turning into a responsible young man. It's almost like he, he is, see? It holds money I earned from raking leaves. I'm good at it too. And because mom's wall markings can't keep up with how fast I'm growing, she takes me to the mall for a new hoodie. Before we go in, she lowers her voice and warns, no playing, no loud talking, and don't put your hands in your pockets unless you're in an open space. But what did I do wrong? Our new car is black. It's slicker than the old one. As dad drives, I picture my toes pushing the gas. As we glide down the road, he tells me to listen up. Listen up means pay attention. Son, if you're stopped by the police, keep your hands up on the steering wheel or on the dashboard and be very, very calm. Dad doesn't need to worry. I'll be the safest driver ever. Check out my new hoodie. It has dad's college name on right on the front. See, my hoodie makes me feel safe. I plug my earbuds into my ear, cover my head, nod to the beat, open the door to meet my friends and son, hold on. Wait, wait a second. This is our living room. He's the, here's the sofa and the chair, chairs that Nana, Grandpa, Mom, Dad, and I sit on. They say, Jay, it's time we had a talk. The talk. Alicia D. Williams and illustrated by Brianna Uchendu. Again, the talk can go so many ways. Um, it's very necessary, and it is something that, as a community, um, as a village, we've always done. You know, Grandma has always told us, or Grandpa always said, hey, come, come over, it's time we had to talk, we got to have to talk. Now, you can talk about, like I said, a variety of things, but definitely, I think that, like I said, it, it's a complementary to an American story, because that's something that um, we do in America 
and I, I think worldwide that is powerful and very, very uplifting and provides uh, preparation for a variety of things. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. Please subscribe. Come back. Come back. And it has been Storytime with Miss O. We'll see you next time.